For the first time in history, NASA wants to hand off routine International Space Station resupply missions to private companies. Though there's way more at stake than just food and equipment deliveries. These space taxi companies hope to transport astronauts soon. And after that, tourists. So here's the situation. These four American companies, including Elon Musk's SpaceX, are building spacecraft to ferry NASA supplies or astronauts to space. And we have liftoff of SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket and Dragon. To make space tourism realistic, the price of these trips needs to come down. Space entrepreneurs are counting on two words to cut costs. Reusable rockets. Until now, booster rockets simply burned up upon re-entering Earth's atmosphere. Musk says creating booster rockets that re-land instead could reduce the cost of a trip a hundredfold. In 2015, both Blue Origin and SpaceX successfully landed rockets. Touchdown. Engine stop. Musk's reaction? Welcome back, baby. Since then, SpaceX has now recovered eight rockets in total, three by land and five by sea. Now here's the argument. Since the space shuttle program ended in 2011, NASA has been focused on Mars and the farther reaches of space. That leaves Russia's Soyuz spacecraft as NASA's only option for sending astronauts into orbit. Rides that cost around $70 million per seat. Some argue that private competition will bring down the price and with it, the cost of space exploration. But there are very real safety concerns. Virgin Galactic Spaceship 2, designed to haul tourists to the edge of space, crashed on a test flight in October 2014, killing a pilot. But for a commercial company, in addition to being a tragedy, a crash with passengers on board could end space tourism altogether. For now, NASA's only option seems to be Russia.